expo is amazing. Um, yesterday was a really, really busy day and we're looking like that's gonna be the rest of the week kind of theme. So we're really like pushing for that, but the day's going fast. I love it and we're ready for next year. It's another 365 days. Next Diapa. Back in February, um, one of my coworkers and I actually had the pleasure of working with Cole Gribble. He's a student at UCF and he wanted to kind of, you know, showcase himself on the floor and we're like, okay, let's open up our booth for the younger generation. And this is the idea we came up with. So cool for the last uh, like eight, nine months has been 3D printing these cars. And basically what we did was we gave him our drawings of our cars and then said, be creative, do what you need to do. And this is what he came up with. And we are so impressed. I have been only seeing this over the camera on like Zoom and everything. and. These are way better in person. I am so impressed with them. So I'm actually a member of ACE, and ACE was kind of one of my obsession when we're going to switch started. I posted this train on social media, and uh, she took notice of it, and she really liked it. From there, she reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in helping out by coming up with some theme Millennium Fire train designs and so forth. So I did. And it's honestly been one of the most rewarding projects I've ever had the honor of doing because, you know, I love doing 3D printing for fun and GCI really motivated me to do my best, you know, North and North and so forth. Push myself to explore new things like on the Viking train, printing with wood filament, laser cutting the track stack out of uh, also wood plywood and um, also laser cutting the running boards of the train out of plywood. I'd never done that before on a train. All my trains before just been running printed. One of our first meetings, we kind of had to narrow down a theme. We came together on the theming and we worked over the course of about six months or so back to figuring out you know, the designs of the theming and the modeling. It's just been wonderful work with GCI. Because they've been, you know, Olivia and Nathan were just so open and always receptive. It was kind of a dream come true.